This video will cover the topic, Introduction to Simplifying a Radical Expression with an Even Exponent. How do you simplify a radical expression? When it comes to simplifying a radical expression, it's important to remember that when taking the radical of a term, we are looking for a number whose square equals that term. When we are simplifying a radical expression with an even exponent, we will always find two answers to the radical expression, a negative and a positive representation of the same term. It is best to explain why this is by using an example. Let's say we want to find the radical of x to the fourth power. This means that we want to find a term whose square equals x to the fourth. That term would be either positive x squared or negative x squared, because when we square negative x squared, we will get x to the fourth, because a negative number times a negative number always equals a positive number. Oh, okay. This seems to all make sense. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. This problem is asking us to simplify the square root of v to the sixth power, and to assume that the variable represents a positive real number. We know that the answer to our radical equation is equal to a term that when squared will equal the term inside the radical sign. It's important to remember that when we take an exponential term to an exponent, we multiply together the two exponents to find the resulting exponent of the term. Knowing this, we know that the exponent of the term multiplied by 2 will equal 6. Solving for x, we will find that x is equal to 3, so therefore, the radical of v to the 6th power will be v to the 3rd power. Oh, I think I understand what's going on here, but just to make sure, let me go over what I've learned. When simplifying a radical expression with even exponents, it's important to remember that with an even exponent, we will always get two answers to our radical expression. To simplify a radical expression, we want to find the term that when squared, it equals the term inside the radical sign. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher now.